Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the Action Bar Health plugin. So you can see an action on the screen, so when you attack or even look at a mob, um, it's going to indicate how much health they have. So this is a really awesome plugin, as you can see, it looks fantastic. There are loads of different styles to choose from and you can just customize how this looks yourself. And what we're going to do is show you a few different examples and then how to customize it. So if we put some mobs down here, you can see that I've in fact renamed the chicken to KFC. This is another feature of this plugin. You can rename any mob. And if we just kill a few of these, you can see it turns to gray hearts when they obviously lose the heart and then disappears once they die. So that is an example of how it looks initially. But if we were to do action health and then reload, it's going to reload to whatever you've changed in the config file. If you do forward slash action health, you can see all the commands and we can toggle it on and off. So now that I've toggled it off, if I go attack these pigs, it's not going to show anything. So toggle it back on and you can see the style has changed. So there are three different styles you can change. How it looks when they are at max health, when they're at half and they've lost a bit and when the health bar is empty. So you can kind of mix and match them. I've gone for the bar look and then grey hearts in the back. So if we go ahead and go to the config file and also go to the spigot page, we can see there are different styles. So here are some screenshots of the different styles. I've used the top two, which you can see, uh, but there's also a couple more we could use. So if we wanted to change style, we need to go down to all of these sections here and we can copy and paste what this looks like. So go ahead and scroll down to about line 49, so about halfway and we're going to just copy and paste these different codes. So we need full, half and empty health. Just copy and paste them in. Obviously you can edit them how you want. You could change the format codes, the color codes, that sort of thing. And once you have done this, all you need to do is click save. We can go back into the game. And then all we need to do is action health reload. And then if we spawn some animals, you can see the look of it has changed. So there's quite a few different looks you can go for. Obviously, you can go for loads of different colors and format codes, etc. Make it look really nice. Um, but that is how it looks in-game. Let's go ahead and go to the config files now. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. And if we go into the only config.yml, we can have a look at what we can change. So up at the top, we've got the health message. This is how you customize the style and look of it. So it'll give you the name of the player or the mob and the use style. So the use style is what you set down here. So you have all of the different codes here, which are to do with everything on the spigot page. So you can see all these different ones, you can customize it. Um, but if you don't want to use um, these symbols, you can just use the health and max health. Uh, show it like that, but you can customize it however you want, add format codes, color codes, that sort of thing. And then do you want a message to be sent to a player if they have it toggled off? And when they do toggle it on and off, they will get these messages. Scroll down, do you want certain players to require a permission in order to use this plugin and see it? Then do you want it to show for mobs, players or NPCs? You can turn off whichever one you want. And you can also set a delay for the message and that will give you a 100% accurate health information. And you can delay it by one tick, which is really not very long. Then obviously we have the style codes down here, which you can just grab off the spigot page. So you can see styles, we've got hearts, bars, lines, and then at the bottom we've got numbers. So that's pretty cool. I just copy and paste uh, this, just copy it and then stick it in here simple as that and then we can actually disable it in certain worlds so you probably don't want this in creative worlds maybe the spawn world the, the lobby um, so you can just stick them all in here and you can also disable regions so this uh, links into world guard and you can just name all of your regions here so your spawn your lobby whatever and that will stop it from working there then we have a limit to the amount of symbols that show um, a mob's health so things like the ender dragon have so much ridiculous health that there would be millions of hearts on the screen. Obviously you don't want that, so you can limit it to 10, which is really cool. Scroll down a bit more and you can blacklist certain mobs. So this also works with mythic mobs. So if you didn't want a mob, you could just stick it here to put creeper or whatever. Pretty straightforward. And then 
down here we have show the health of an NT player that we're looking at and the distance is 10 so if you're looking at um, an entity that's 10 blocks away you will see it but obviously you can turn that off and then you can also check to see if the player can see the entity before actually showing you the health and then when you're in spectator mode or invisible um, will it show it to you or not so it's probably best to hide it in this case and then for miniature pets do you want it to be shown or not now down here we have the name change thing so you can turn this off if you don't want it uh, but as you can see i've renamed chicken to kfc and pig to bacon and you can just add cow to beef or you know give it whatever name you want scroll down and then we have some actions so you can enable or disable this um, so what this does is trigger a message to be sent to you or an enemy depending on what happens so if you consume an apple or a potion it will be sent in chat and it says this name has consumed a golden apple if you right click an ender pearl it will uh, tell you that as well uh, but that's everything in the config file if we head over to the spigot page you can see it's working for all of these versions i've had no trouble with it it's a fantastic plugin obviously you can download it here if you want to but if you want a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time